Hello YouTube. Hello YouTube. So in today's video, I'm gonna be working on this 2014 Dodge Journey. I'm actually gonna be working on those uh, little sprayers, windshield sprayer and nozzles. The hose actually broke. I don't know if it's a common problem on these trucks, but I'm gonna be replacing the hose and the actual little water sprayer nozzles. So make sure you guys stay tuned and here we go. Dirty dudes! All right, so these are the some of the things I bought. I don't know what I'm gonna be using, and so I actually just bought the kit. And these are the actual water nozzles. I'm gonna be replacing. Right now, I'll show you guys where these actually broke. I bought some uh, hose, uh, hose, and this hose actually came with some fittings as well. All right, so let's get to it, to it. All right, again, I don't know if it's a common problem. Or maybe because I live over here in South Texas where we get super hot. And it actually broke from here. And these actually broke right here. And this is supposed to be connected right here. You can see right now, I'll show you the, the new ones. So you can compare the difference. All right, so you can see the actual crack right here. And um, I think this is the part that broke on the bottom. That is stuck right here. Hopefully I could replace them, take them off actually, so I don't have to, I can reuse them. I think I already took this one off. Well, you can see the plastic is still in there. I'm gonna try to take this off. Hopefully it's not stuck in there so I can reuse these uh, elbows. All right, so I'm, I'm lucky enough that it broke actually right here. As you can see, the little lip. So I'm going to be taking that off right here. The little lips. Yeah, I want, I want, right. I want the little lips. All right, so I already removed this little plastic right here. And this is gonna go like this. All right, so I already removed the little nozzle. Right, the crack and some little, little pitches. Right, I'm gonna show you how you, I actually took it off. You could use uh, some needle nose pliers and actually just um, clamp it to these little, um, little clamps, or I don't Ooh, know what you guys slime. call them. Um, I actually used um, this little breaker bar. You can use a screwdriver. So uh, let me show you guys how I managed to take them off. Cause they're actually in this hole. And there's no way you could do it like out of, it's just a, a weird uh, way to take them off. Oh, and I, uh, before um, they do come with a little, um, with a little gasket. You can see, and, they, and that goes on top. So the paint won't get uh, scratched or messed up. All right, so I took them off by um, putting some pressure on the top and pulling it from the from the opposite side, from the top. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. So the top came off, and I'll just do the bottom again. I put some pressures on the on those little things, and they just pop out. And you can see the top popped popped out. So I just need to do the bottom. Um, let me see again if I could do it with one hand. Make sure you don't put that much pressure. You don't want to damage your hood. All right, so I'm back. I actually couldn't do it with one hand, but it's off. Again, make sure you guys don't uh, put that much pressure in your hood. You don't want to bend or do any, any little dimples on your hood. So uh, let's get now into the install and fixing the, the actual hose that broke. 
I don't know if I mentioned, but I did take off the hose from here. Um, I am saving the, the one that's connected to both nozzles. I'm saving this one. I'm probably going to reuse this one. Reuse the, this fitting and this fitting right here. And I think there's another fitting that's going to be right here. All right, so again, um, this actually comes in uh, the factory. This is how it actually comes. So what you want to do is just remove this. I'm probably not going to use this right here, but I am going to use this, um, what are these called? Um, connections, vacuum connections, I guess. Yeah, because this is another um, little fitting. This actually comes off. So I would probably going to save this just in case I ever need to use it or whatever. But I am going to save this. The hose is broken. So I'm going to throw this away. And the actual little clips that hold, hold the hose are broken as well. So I'm going to use some zip ties so it won't get us snagged with anything or cut or whatever. So okay, I'm ready to install these nozzles. Again, don't forget the little gasket. That's to save your paint rubbing with your nozzle. And these actually just go in with pressure. But make sure when you're installing this, this actually um, faces your windshield. So you're going to go like this. And again, all you need to do is just put your little gasket and put some pressure. And it'll go right in. Alright, so again, I'm going to install these. Make sure the little hole is facing your windshield. And again, this is just goes in with pressure and that's it now we just have to run all the the hoses and we'll be on a way to finish a quick little fix do do it yourself i'm gonna go ahead and put the links on the, the hoses and those little nozzles i bought so you guys could save a, a couple couple of bucks i think i spent maybe 20 bucks 20 15 or 20 dollars on all this um, nozzles and the hoses so I'll make sure uh, I write a, a link for you guys down in the descriptions again if you have any questions any comments make sure you write them down below and yeah, let's keep going all right again so this is gonna be the correct way to put them like you take them off you put them back in so this is gonna go like this if you need to put pressure on the opposite side Go ahead, you don't want to take it off by accident. So you, so you put that in and same for that, that side over there. All right, so that's going to be your T fitting. This is actually going on the driver's side. And then you got your L fitting over here. And then you're going to connect them. So this is going to be the tricky part of finding the actual um, fitting that would uh, go to your hose that I bought to those um, factory all right again so I'm gonna be reusing um, this hose that is connected to your passenger to your driver's side and what I'm gonna have to need is a fitting that goes from there to there so I'm just gonna match up this fitting with this one it looks similar and just connect everything back together all right guys so i ran the holes from there to here um i'm actually not gonna cut it till i get the precise measurement i don't want to undercut so um there there's a gonna be your connection right here so i'm gonna connect this one with this one right here and then run the hose all the way over here and zip tie them over here again so it won't get a snagged or cut all right so there you go everything's all uh, buttoned up just gonna go ahead and give it a little test uh, I went ahead and zip tied um, the hose over here with these two holes um, over here with the other two holes and just run it and over here put it with your factory original connection All right, so I'm gonna be checking uh, if it doesn't pinch or or rub with anything. 
You want to open and close the hood? All right, so it looks like the, um, there's no pinching or rubbing going on. So always double check, triple check your work. You don't wanna be stuck doing something two or three times. Make sure everything's tightened up. All right, after giving it a little test, um, this fitting actually popped out. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace it with another one. Um, I guess it's too small from here. This one is, um, as you can see, the, the size difference. So hopefully this works. I'm gonna go ahead and change it and give it another test run and hopefully it'll fix the problem. All right, as you can see the difference with the two. This is gonna go with the, the fitting that goes to the, the water nozzle and this is gonna be the one that goes into the hose. Alright, so this is going to be take two. Again, I already replaced this uh, fitting right here. Um, it is a little tighter fit. Hopefully, it'll fix the, the problem. Um, let's go ahead and uh, give it that uh, test. At the same time, I'm going to go ahead and look for any leakages from over here to over here. Alright, as you can see, it's rain. Alright guys, as you can see, there's no leakage. Everything seems to be running okay. I'm going to go ahead and give it another test drive while I'm driving it to see if it's actual functions. Um, I was also going to remind you guys to be very careful with these nozzles because they are kind of brittle. Um, when uh, putting these hoses on, make sure you guys uh, grab the nozzle while putting these hoses you don't want to again break them because they are kind of a little loose but everything so seems to be going okay again no um leakage here nor here nor here so let's give it another test run all right guys there you go hopefully you find this video useful and entertaining like always don't forget to like subscribe and share thank you